I gave my opinions on Instagram because my opinions are very different than the uh, than the norm. The suspense, I know, hold on. Hi, this is Katie. Today's video, I'm just gonna vlog, I'm gonna hang out with you this morning. Um, but for starters, this is that new scrunchie that I got at Target in a video from like three weeks ago or something, and I love it. My roommate literally was like, you look tall today, and I'm like, yep, it's because of this. This adds like four and a half inches to my height. Um, I think it's a Kristen S hair tie, and it's huge. It's gigantic. I'm not taking it out now because my hair looks perfect, and I don't want to ruin it, but it's so cute and huge, and I'm very, I really, really like it a lot, but anyway. Hair's done. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on. Just gonna um, fast forward through this, but I am gonna put some makeup on. I got a new makeup case that I love. I've been looking for one of these clear ones for a while that were not a million dollars because I feel like the, what's the main brand? Like Truffle or something I think makes these kind of clear cases, but they're like 80 or 90 bucks, which like, mm, I'm okay spending a decent amount of money on things that I think I'll use a lot and if they're really good quality, but I still was like, oh, I wanna see if I can find a cheaper one. And I wanted one in this like nude color and Truffle, I don't think had one when I looked. And I found this one on Amazon for like 40 and I really, really like it. It's double-sided. So this is like the bigger section. And then this has a smaller section. At first I was keeping my brushes in here, but that's not a good idea because then you have to just jump back and forth. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna keep in there like separately, but for now, this is just like my little like everyday kind of makeup I have in here. I still do have a bigger makeup case, which nobody needs as much makeup as I have, but I'm just going to put on makeup quick. Fast forward through it. Um, I'll tell you what products I use if you're curious. I've been doing just the same makeup basically for a decent amount of time. Let me show you. I don't have my glasses on, so now I have to like be like this. I'm probably gonna use the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer, but as like all over my face, like just to cover up any redness or discoloration. Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Uh, Nudie's Bondi Bay for my bronzer. Oh, this is Nude Sticks, by the way. And then I'm gonna use an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. And that might be it. I might use an eyebrow gel, maybe the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. And that's probably it. That's probably gonna be my makeup today. And then maybe some lipstick. Maybe I'll put this nude sticks um, lip gloss on. Anyway, okay, gonna put makeup on quick. I'll talk to you guys in a second. Last night, I woke up to a bottle of Jack in the middle of nowhere. I wish I was somewhere. Chasing a ghost, am I wasting my time more? Is this a reality? So sick at the jealousy. Okay, I didn't even put in an eyebrow gel. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, let's continue to blend, 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 blend. I always put bronzer on my nose because I feel like if you're outside in the sun and you get a little color, you definitely get some on your nose. So I just kind of like put it here. Um, and then on my forehead and then on my cheeks. So, I 100% of the time get mascara on my eyelids. I feel like I do all the tricks to not do it, but it happens anyway. But I just wait until everything is dry and then I can just kind of pretty easily like pick it off kind of. But this is probably my favorite mascara, the Falsies Lash Lift. Um, I gave my opinion the other day on Instagram on the newer, was it Sky High from Maybelline? And I gave my opinions on Instagram because my opinions are very different than the uh, than the norm. Um, a lot of people love that mascara, and I just don't. I don't. I don't. It's not even as good as this one. Um, like it wasn't horrible putting it on. Like it wasn't horrible, but like it definitely was not even as good as this one. And this is also Maybelline, so they're probably at the same price. Um, but also what I even hated about it more than that, more than it just like didn't do anything really different than other mascaras I've tried. What I hated about it even more than that is that it was a pain to take off. And it was not the waterproof one, I checked. Um, it just was so difficult to take off. So I used it like three times to try to like give it a fair chance. And then I uh, threw it out because I really did not like it. It just didn't do, I don't know, man. I, it might just be like my 
eyelashes. I feel like mascaras are different for everyone because of their natural eyelashes, but for mine at least, it just did not do anything. Let me know in the comments if you tried that, the sky high one, because I feel like it was like all the rage, like the last couple months. And I tried it, didn't like it. Um, but I do like my falsies lash lift. Anyway, this is my makeup for today. This is basically what I do most days, just like mascara, eyebrows, a little concealer, and um, bronzer. So I do most days. That's it, that's what I'm telling you. I'm so <laughs> tired today, I just woke up. The last week or so, I've been sleeping just later than normal. Um, Cause I think like last year, I used to sleep until like 9.30 or 10 and that was kind of like what I did normally, but I really wanted to get into a different schedule of waking up between like seven and eight and I did. I got into that schedule a few months ago um, and my alarm goes off at 7.15, my Apple Watch alarm, which I love. Here's my quick review on my Apple Watch. I love this thing especially for a couple of reasons. One, looking at things like the weather and stuff just quickly on your wrist is very cool. Um, I also like doing the voice to text to text someone because it makes me feel like Inspector Gadget. Um, I also like that you can just send really quick texts and that you get the notifications and everything on here. Um, but I also love the alarm because it's not like this loud blaring alarm. It's just like a tiny little vibrate on your wrist. And so it wakes me up like more peacefully. So I'm not up and like angry at the day already because of a loud alarm. Um, I really, really, really like the alarm on here. So anyway, my alarm goes off at 7.15 nowadays and I'm usually up out of bed by like 7.30, sometimes even earlier. But the last week or so, I've just been sleeping late, late. Today I got out of bed at 10. So um, I literally got up, got out of bed, went to get my camera out of the living room, came back in here and started recording. I don't even think I said a word out loud yet. Um, even when my roommate commented on my hair, I just was like, like I didn't even, I didn't even respond. <laughs> so I'm in one of those like half asleep, hyper tired modes, one of those. Um, but it's 10.30 in the morning. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing today, but I'm gonna take you guys around with me. Um, and hopefully it's something fun and entertaining <laughs> and something to stimulate my brain a little bit because I am like completely shut down right now. I'm just so tired. Um, anyway, yeah, I guess I will just talk to you guys in a couple minutes when I do something. Probably breakfast. I should probably eat breakfast soon. It is semi-normal that I eat breakfast pretty late. So like, even if I wake up at 7.30, it's pretty normal that I still wait until 10.30, 11, 12 to eat my first meal. That's just pretty typical for me. I don't usually eat right when I wake up. Um, but when I find out what I'm gonna eat, I will let you guys know, cause I'm sure you're real excited to see what I'm gonna have for breakfast. It's probably gonna be eggs, like normally, but maybe it won't be, and it'll be a surprise to both of us. <laughs> oh no, what mood am I in? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a second. That lighting isn't the worst. So it's 11.30 and I'm gonna guess about 80% of you are going to be disgusted as to what I'm eating for breakfast. I'm gonna guess 80%. <laughs> um, I, am <laughs> I am going to be eating leftover Culver's. This is the burger, this is chili. Um, I heated up the chili, didn't heat up the burger. Um, there's this much left. Got it two nights ago, so like 36 hours ago. This is my breakfast. I love leftovers. I've somehow turned into like the leftovers queen. I don't know if this happens in your 30s or what, but like leftovers taste really good to me now. They never used to, but like this tastes delicious and it's a cold cheeseburger and I love it. I mentioned Culver's chili in one of my recent videos and I'm curious if any of you guys have tried it since then because it's like one of my favorite foods that I can find in Nashville. Okay, I'll talk to you in a couple minutes. It's one of those days, it's super cloudy, super gloomy. And sometimes on those days, it's harder to be motivated. But the thing about motivation is that it's uh, unnecessary. Um, a lot of people like to kind of blame motivation. Like, oh, I'm gonna do this when I'm motivated to do it, or I'm motivated right now, so then I'll get some stuff done or whatever. When in reality, we can just go from 
knowing something needs to get done or wanting to get something done to doing it. That's productivity. You know, like we don't need the motivation part. We don't need the, oh, I don't feel like it right now, blah, blah, blah. Like we don't need that part. We can literally skip from, I wanna get this done to I'm going to do it without even if we feel like it or not. Um, that's something that I learned in a Skillshare class a couple months ago. And just when I heard it explained like that, like here's what you wanna get done. Here's getting it done. And a lot of us go to down here where motivation lives. When this guy explained it that way, I was like, oh, that's so smart. Because a lot of us wait until we're motivated instead of just getting something done. And that's real productivity. But anyway, I learned that from a Skillshare class. Speaking of Skillshare, let's take another class, shall we? I was just looking at a Skillshare class called Crafting a Consistent Brand by Chris Fredericks. I'm looking at it on my computer so I would get the wording right. Um, I, You guys know I love learning about business and marketing and branding. Um, and if you don't know what Skillshare is, I'm sure most of you guys do. I talk about them all the time. They're an online learning platform and they have tons and tons of videos, like proper classes, like well put together classes in a lot of creative niches. So like marketing, photography, editing, stuff like that. And since they are like proper classes, it means it's like really well put together, very easy to understand. A lot of them are, you know, between 45 minutes and an hour and a half so you can watch like one a day you know and you can watch these classes and learn things for your job to better your own business or even just as like a hobby or something that's fun and i personally think it's a great way to either learn something new or to hone in on some skills that you already have so if you're interested in learning something new i would really recommend skillshare and the first thousand people who click the link in my description right down here will get a free trial of their premium membership and then after that it's only like ten dollars a month and so i do want to thank skillshare for sponsoring this video and honestly, I'm probably gonna go watch some of this class right now, this branding class. I really just love how like well thought out the teachers are and the classes are. And I think it's a great way to learn and to keep your brain sharp. We always have to be learning stuff, you know, even if we don't feel like it. Even if we don't feel like it, we gotta be doing something to still be using our brains throughout the day. So I'm gonna go watch this class and then um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and we will get something else done because we don't need to be motivated to get things done. We need to believe in productivity. Okay, bye. Hey guys, uh, do you wanna hear <laughs> the most pointless story? It's pointless. I'm warning you, it's pointless. I'm gonna tell you anyway. It's 2 p.m., so it's several hours later. And I was in the mood for chocolate-covered pretzels. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go get some because I wanted some and I was gonna go get some. So I was like, okay, where might have good gluten-free chocolate-covered pretzels? Because I know, I think like Walmart and or Target has the Glutino brand chocolate-covered pretzels. I don't love those very much. So I wanted to see if there was a different brand somewhere else. So I drove to Whole Foods, which is back there somewhere. I'm at Whole Foods. I went in there on my search for chocolate covered pretzels and um, they didn't have any. They broke my heart. They just completely broke my heart, broke my trust, took everything from me. They just didn't have any. <laughs> I don't know if they don't carry them or if I was just looking in the wrong section. I was looking with the pretzels. I don't know if they were in like a different section for some reason or if they were just out of them, but I didn't see any. My heart broke, I cried. I just sat on the floor, cried, I'm just kidding. But um, I did find and already ate some. These Quinn peanut butter pretzels, like peanut butter filled pretzels. Cause I was thinking that they would still like satisfy that craving of like wanting salty and sweet and crunchy and pretzely. Um, should I try to throw it in my mouth with this very low ceiling? Ready? Ready? Oh crap, it fell and broke. This is the peanut butter inside. Oh no, that was a disaster. I honestly, that ended worse than I could have ever imagined. It landed on a deodorant that I have. You know, um, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> All right, ready? Hmm. Wait, I'm back. Put lip gloss on. Um, I changed my jewelry earlier, by the way. Just to let you guys know if you couldn't tell. I am going to go home and make lunch. It's two o'clock and my breakfast was really, really tiny. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna try to tell me that my breakfast was really lunch because it was 11.30 and it was a cheeseburger, but how I see it is I was breaking my fast. So technically that's breakfast. <laughs> Monkey, come here. Come here. 
Monkey does not want to be on camera right now. Hi, what a great angle. This is really good. Um, I wanted to show you guys something I think I talked about in my last vlog that I got from Target at like the little dollar spot. These little, uh, little race cars. These little race cars. I want Monkey to play with me. Come here. Monkey's my roommate's cat. Come here. But I talked about these in my last video, but I didn't show them. This was literally a dollar, and it might be the best dollar I've ever spent in my entire life. Are you ready? I'm trying to see like what. No, it has to go this way so you can see it right. Okay, ready? It's gonna hit the rug. Also, I need to vacuum. Don't mind the floor. All right, ready? You just like pull this thing, <laughs> and it lights up. They were a dollar. Let's see if I can have a race. They both are number 37. The inside's exactly the same, but like, it lights up. It's very fun. All right, let's hold that one. No, don't do it. <laughs> I bought two so my roommate and I could play with them, but we haven't done it yet, so I'm just gonna do it myself. All right, ready? They're both trying to go. Calm down. Okay. Okay, ready? Did you, did you see what just happened? That it turned around and came back to me. I don't understand how that happened, but it did. Um, it definitely happened. Let's see if this one will do it, ready? Nope. Come on, come on. Okay, bye. Anyway. These are very fun. I got them a couple weeks ago, so I don't know if they still have them. I don't know how like quickly they change the dollar spot, but if they still have them, highly recommend taking these everywhere for the rest of my life. <laughs> that one just turned around too. I just went Because also like this turns for some reason. I wonder what would happen if I turn this like this. Oh. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's turn it like basically sideways. All right. This is the best dollar entertainment. Spin. I know you can't really see. No, come back. Come on. They just like spin. Here, let me do it this way again. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> he even turned the corner over there. You're very smart. Um, I really enjoy them, and I think that you should buy them, and then <laughs> we can have like a worldwide um, race car race, race championship thing. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, now, lunch. Don't wanna lose myself to the process. Lately I've been waking up as soon as the sun sets, yeah. Tell me am I wasting my time? Right through the window. If I 
Okay, hey guys, so my lunch, my three o'clock in the afternoon lunch is grilled cheese, to tomato soup, I'll tell you in a second, and then some carrots and ranch. This is a new ranch that I'm trying, uh, not new to existence, new to me, Bolt House Farms ranch, like their yogurt ranch, it's very good. Like, really, really good. Um, I made this grilled cheese with just American cheese, like four slices of American cheese and some sauteed onions. And my um, tomato soup is uh, tomato sauce. <laughs> I'm just dipping it. I'm not gonna eat it like soup. I'm just dipping it, you know. Thank you, God, for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. That was Skittles falling, just to let you know. I think tomato sauce in a pinch can be useful if you don't have tomato soup, if you're just dipping it. I think it could work for grilled cheese. Just to get that like tangy tomato flavor, you know what I mean? Um, would not recommend using ketchup, but if that's all you have, it might kind of get the job done, maybe. Not recommend that as much though, but tomato sauce. Honestly, what's the difference between tomato soup and tomato sauce? I literally don't know I'm asking, no idea. It might be a different angle, I had to delete some stuff. Um, yeah, so ketchup, last place. <laughs> tomato soup, first place. Tomato sauce, meh. You know, solid middle ground, but do you guys follow me on Instagram? Um, if you don't, I highly recommend it because I started doing a new little series over there called uh, Daily Dream Discussions. Because if you guys don't know, I have real weird dreams. I have like a lot of dreams per night that I usually remember a lot of. And they range very drastically <laughs> from this could have happened in real life. It's so basic and simple and normal to I'm having a completely insane nightmare. And so I just started talking about it a little bit more on my Instagram stories, just kind of telling you guys my dreams. Not every morning, but like a lot of mornings. And <laughs> if you watched my Instagram stories a couple days ago, or a week ago or whatever, uh, you would know that I had a dream. <laughs> and I had a dream that I was at this like cafeteria thing and I saw a sign for grilled cheese and I wanted to see if they had gluten-free grilled cheese. So I went over to that section and was about to like ask if they had gluten-free grilled cheese and then I woke up. So I had a dream <laughs> about almost eating grilled cheese. So I clearly needed to make it a few days later. But some of my dreams are just so boring. <laughs> Like they're not boring. They just feel like a regular thing that would happen. Like, oh, I'm just gonna go get some grilled cheese. That's normal. Why am I dreaming that? I could dream about anything in the world. And my brain's like, grilled cheese. Not even eating it, just almost eating it. Anyway. Oh, I have something else saying I forget. That's fun. What was I gonna say? Oh. I remembered. Hold on. I almost just dropped it. What is wrong with me today? The suspense, I know, hold on. The bread that I used for the grilled cheese is Canyon Land Bakehouse, gluten-free. I think it's their country white, I think it's called. It is so good. It's my favorite sliced gluten-free bread. I love it. My favorite gluten-free bread in general is the Udi's French bread. They're like French rolls and they're so good. Um, but in terms of sliced bread, the Canyon Land Bakehouse country white, my favorite. The consistency is good. It doesn't just completely fall apart. Um, and it tastes like real bread. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Just having like a super chill day. I really like hanging out with you guys though when we do this kind of stuff. It literally just feels like we're friends. And like, 
either when I'm running errands or when I'm cleaning or when I'm just doing my makeup or when I'm cooking, like hanging out with you guys just kind of feels like we're friends and like you're hanging out here with me. I really enjoy doing vlogs like this and so I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and hanging out with me during like a super chill day. And I do hope that you're subscribed to my channel. If you're not already, please do it. It's just one click and it's free and it's easy. It's just, it's like right here, just a little button, just click it. And if you click the bell next to it, I know that's two steps, I know. It's asking a lot, but if you click the little bell, you will get notified every time I upload a video, which is generally twice a week. And again, I love having you here, so thank you so much for watching, and I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.